Hey Patreon guys, once again, thank you for support. I'm gonna go uh, go ahead and show you a, a little mini scheme that I actually have uh, built built out of the Gun Split Raider uh, formation. It's a scheme I was using on some Regs games and also um, on uh, Draft Champions. Uh, and it's a, it's a fairly simple scheme to run. It's got a lot of action going off to the right-hand side. It's not as strong on the left-hand side, but uh, it can cause your opponent some problems. It's a good way to establish a, a nice little offense that you can use against them. So um, a couple things I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the the left bumper uh, X out, out and up play. We're going to leave that. And the motion play action double post this is the, the two plays we're going to leave stock. But we're going to go ahead and switch out the run. Now I can either have a halfback draw or the halfback buck cross or the cross buck. I usually prefer to have something that's a little bit more consistent with running where I can't get myself caught in a bind and just like man uh, so I'm going to use the halfback across buck as my as my uh, quick audible and for slants middle uh, we're going to go ahead and take that out which is slants middle and we're going to actually go and switch it out with deep curls deep curls now for the base play I'm going to call I'm either going to call the draw play or the halfback slip screen uh, as one of my base plays and I'm not going to show these plays to you they're you know they're fairly straightforward uh, as far as plays that you can do and we're going to run this against man blitzes and can kind of go from there so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at man blitzes and then show you how all these plays uh, play against us now I'm probably going to get some block shits and stuff like that one play that you do not want to use against man blitzes would be the uh, would be any kind of a, a, a slip screen, uh, but obviously you got uh, an opportunity to go and run the ball with the running back with the, with a cross buck. But uh, if you got a guy that's running a lot of man blitzes, um, deep curls is actually a fairly effective play. But the way I run it, I run the play like this. So the problem with this particular play against man blitzes is that unless Roberts gets over the top of the coverage. Uh, you're going to have to get rid of the ball really, really quick, and the depth of the, the two uh, dig routes, or the, the two uh, curl routes, is really, really deep, so you're not really going to get that opportunity. So, really, the only opportunity you got is this, uh, that that uh, X route right there, going around right the seam, and hopefully you can beat it. So, let me show you how I set this up, and let's just see if we can pop it. No, basically I got too much uh, pressure coming at me, and that's because it was a, basically a goal line defense. So let's go ahead and try this again uh, with running this. And this is just the assumption that I'm not my man's not using a lot of heavy man blitzes, but you can get an opportunity to get a big play like that. But I, I prefer not to use this setup against anybody that's a lot of heavy man blitzing because you're not always going to get that opportunity. So you can see the safety is over the top. Now there's a cont contested ball right there. You're not going to get a shot. So, against heavy man blitzing, I prefer to use the X out and up. And the reason why is that I'm going to block another person. I've got a crossing, I've got a drag route, and I've got Robert's route on the back end side. Now, watch Nelson. Nelson is going to be um, an area of the field that's actually going to get me an opportunity for a huge play opportunity and sometimes go house like that because it's an out and up. That's a natural man, like you know, zero blitz, man beater. And because I'm blocking six, it's going to get me a little bit more time. So that's going to be one of those plays I'm going to go ahead and jump into. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get some, some additional time with it. Uh, also, I've got uh, a, a, uh, this crossing route right here on the back end side. That actually is going to be in the user territory, so that might not be the best play that you want to go and jump into against that. Now, um, you've also got this little drag route on the back end side, and you've got the, 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 the out right by the running back, so that gives you another place where you can actually attack your opponent on both sides if they do a lot of heavy man blitzing. But that, that play up top uh, with, with against man blitzers is going to be that out and out. Now, another play we're going to be looking at is going to be the, the, the motion play action post. And the way I like to run this particular play is with the following adjustments. I'm going to block my running back. I'm going to block uh, block my, my, my tight end or my fullback position. And I'm going to drag up my uh, wide receiver on the back end side and put my, uh, my tight end on a, on a wheel route. Now, the route that's going to get really crazy separation is this route right here. Pretty much against any type of coverage, it's going to get really crazy separation. So that's going to be the money route I'd be looking to majority of the time. But I want to go ahead and block that running back to give myself a little bit more time off the edge. Got the little dragging route that I can go and attack, and it's going to put someone in the user position. And if they're coming down playing the user, I've also got this this crossing route by Roberts 
that I can go ahead and attack against my opponent off on the back and side. Let's see if we get the separation. We do no, I actually don't get the separation I want. Robert didn't get the kind of separation I need, but you can see how that's going to be naked on the back and side. So this is against basically man blitzes. Let's take this, take a look at this at cover two. So against random cover twos, uh, once again, uh, you can leave the screen. And this gives you an opportunity to go and hit that table out on the back end side. So I just forced that ball in there. But, uh, you know, you've got the halfback slip screen. And that's actually a good play to go and jump into. Uh, you can get some pretty good yards with that. But I, I'm just using this as just as a setup play against other different types of coverages. Now, deep curls. Once again, I'm going to streak up Roberts. I'm going to put my backside receiver, uh, LaFell, um, on, a, on a deep comeback route. And that's more to beat cover four and cover three type shells. The big play opportunity is going to be this streak route right here, and all we have to do is just basically do an inside pass lead and just go ahead and aggressive catch it. You're going to come down with that ball a lot of the times. Uh, so you can pop your opponent a couple times with this particular route and get yourself um, some pretty easy yards right there, right down the middle of the field. So that's going to open up uh, the offense against your opponent because then he's going to have to start chasing that, and that's going to give this little check down for you that you can check down to and actually take away, uh, go ahead and just, just beat him up underneath uh, with a little check down with this curls play. So this is really a good play to go and jump down to. And also you got this, this other check down right here, so if the defenders float up, uh, you can go and check it down there. So he's got three spots he's got to, to actually defend, defend. The middle of the bottom, uh, the middle of the formation, the, the, the left wing, and then also that, that streak route right up the middle with the secret play. Now, um, you, you could have a guy that actually can lock this play up if you're running a little bit too much um, against him. So, you know, it's one of those type of things where you, you probably want to not try spamming this play too much. But against cover two, uh, against uh, cover two, you get an opportunity to hit him with that seam. Now, the X out and up against cover two is not necessarily the best play out there. Uh, sometimes you can hit this little out and up. Uh, but uh, a lot of times what happens is if the defender floats up, you have to wait for that, and you can get some blockages against you just like that previous play. So this is a play that I like to use against cover three, cover four, more than anything else. You got the little check down, the little crosser that comes across the middle. You see how like this takes a really long time to develop. This is more of a cover three beater than anything else. So let's see if we can get Nelson's route right here. Let's see if we can get this. So you can see that's a slight opportunity right there, but the actual defender actually came up and actually bit that. So I, I you know, when I was running this online, um, I found that it's not the best play to use against cover two type shells because you have to do a lot of check downs and that's actually giving the defense, that is defense an advantage with the secret play. You could conceivably go ahead and take, um, uh, basically you could conceivably go ahead and take Roberts and slide him over. But I, I'm more going to more likely go ahead and jump in this play, which is the motion play action double post against cover two, because it will get naked against cover two. So uh, watch the, the, the deep post route here against cover two. Gets past the coverage. I've got a, you know, a high awareness type defense right there, and I'm actually getting an easy uh, first down. And I, I just did this so deliberately online when I was using this particular play right here. And... You can see I'm actually getting a good opportunity to go and get a play. So I'm just forcing that ball in there, but that's going to be the, the area of the field I'm going to look to. So let's go ahead and jump uh, into that, make adjustment again. And we're going to watch that deep post route, separation, and I got block shed right there by Bosa. So that's just going to happen when you play this game. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it again. Watch this right here. And the, the block shed once again comes in. So this is a little bit frustrating. We're gonna, well, I'm going to have to go ahead and, and uh, protect my line and, and shade protect against uh, against Bosa. So we're going to go shade off to the right, give myself a little bit more time. So i got a double team over there. And now you can see I actually had wide open route receiver, but uh, the ball was missed on. So let's go ahead and try this one more time, guys. Trust me, this works. I've used this play a lot online, uh, and it's a very effective play, especially against cover two shells. And you can see right here, and if you get the spin animation, this is what I'm talking about. This is perfect, perfect, perfect play that if you spin that ball against that safety, if he's clicking on and you spin it, you can go house with that particular, with that post route. So that's why this play can be very deadly. So let's go ahead, set this up. I'm going to go ahead and shut, uh, protect our, our protect off to the right. I want to go ahead and protect against Bosa. You got the underneath route. 
I can check it down right here so you can see the defender actually comes down but if he's floating up that's going to be an area of the field you can do so a lot of the action with this particular formation is going to be a lot off to the right you've got the double cross move off the left that's something you could do with against cover two this is not the best um, offense against cover two because you can this this deep curls will beat cover two uh, but uh, those other plays are really more for cover three cover four type shells so let's go and jump into to cover four scratch that we're going to go into cover cover three so cover three is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and, and really abuse your opponent with uh this uh this uh, little strip slip screen and what's great about the slip screen is that you actually have that table route off the back end side that you can go and check down to and get easy yards underneath and conversely on the back end side let's see if we get it got uh, the little check down right there where we got the, the, uh, the screen off the left hand side. Defenders came out to the gun and play that but you know that if you got a guy that's playing online you can get yourself some pretty good yards so the offensive line is not blocking very well but you can see three guys are out there and they couldn't pick up their blocks correctly. Uh, cover three with deep curls. So this is where, where I, I set this play up and deliberately against cover three. So I got Roberts on a fly route because I want him to give me a fast read and whether I can hit the deep comeback route or not. So let's watch Roberts. If Roberts doesn't get carried over, this deep comeback route is going to get separate. He's going to get enough separation where I can get this off. So let's see if I can hold my block. I'm going to set this up once again the way it is. Okay, watch he carries, he carries, he carries. Got the deep comeback route, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up an easy you know, 10, 15 yards with that deep comeback route right there. So that's why I set that up that way. So uh, sometimes what happens if the defender actually slides over to LaFell's side, that means that uh, the backside Nelson is going to be wide open because he's playing Cloud Flat. So we're not sh we're not showing Cloud Flats, but I'm going to go and check this down to the running back because you can you can get some pretty cheap and easy yards doing that uh, off the back end side. Let's see if we get the uh, animation we're looking for right here. Okay, let's see if he slides out doesn't slide out we're just going to go ahead and check it down to the other flat no way is to his his manual defender could be in the area to play these two different area these two sidelines against cover three so that's what's great about this all right so let's go and check it down got the little uh, angle route that again drop, drop that ball down to against cover two so i've got to, he's going to force it to actually defend that and let's see if we can get the slide that we're looking for. No, it's not coming. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick adjustment. I'm going to jump into hard flats and show you where you can you can get an easy uh, easy completion off the back end side. Now, if your opponent's playing a hard flat or a cloud flat, what's going to happen is he's going to slide out. And what's cool about the secure play is that you can actually hit this ball on the back end side like this. So watch. Um, this is very consistent. Uh, with this particular play, so let me go ahead and show this to you once again. If my opponent jumps into hard flats, he's gonna he's gonna give me an instant tell. I'm gonna watch the the, the defender actually slide out, and I know that I'm gonna be able to go and hit this back. This back side is gonna be wide open for me because if he does hard flats, he's manually adjusting down. So both of his flats on both sides, if he's playing a cover three shell consistently. They're going to go ahead, he'll, he'll give me a towel, and I'm going to go ahead and hit him on the back end side, and he's not going to be prepared for that at all. So even though the defender actually came down to play that ball, you could see that, that uh, Jordy Nelson actually got the separation there. He's just sliding out. I'm just going to the other side and just taking my easy yards, which is going to be about a 15-yard gainer. So let me go ahead and show this to you in re instant replay and what my read is against a, a cover three shell. So if a guy's playing a lot of sky against me, this guy slides automatically. He just, he just lets this guy running right by. Um, I could try to hit the seam, but this might be throwing right into this guy's uh, passing lane. So I'm going to go ahead. I know this is going to be taken away. He's going to he's going to play this hard. This hard flat is going to be probably coming back up and playing this route right here. So I know this route is actually going to be wide open because I've got a flat route on the back and side pulling the defender down. So the defender actually comes down and plays that flat, leaving this wide open for me for an easy completion because he's a little bit on the inside for an easy completion. So. Uh, if the guy plays hard flat with cover three, he's just going to get definitely get burnt uh, with this particular play. Now, uh, against cover three, uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and run uh, the out and up play. And this is where you can get an opportunity for a one play touchdown against cover three. So let's see if we get that. No, didn't get the animation right there. The corner actually played over the top. Verrett is one of the better uh, corners in the game. So I don't know if I'm going to get the complete, uh, complete, complete animation that I'm looking for. 
but let's see here. So you're going to get these one-on-one -on -one type of situations, and a lot of times you've got a real fast burner wide receiver like a Tariq Hill. He'll actually get past that guy and actually go go house. So let's go ahead and see. Now it looks like we got a shell up top. So this is an area of the field that you can go and pop him right over the middle, uh, because now you've got you've got two underneath routes actually pulling defenders down. And uh, unless he's actually manually taking away that crossing route, this route will actually get. So you can see these guys come biting down, and this guy's over the top in coverage and they got to come back down for the crossing route and I can actually hit this guy right over the middle. So this is is this is this is middle of the field. It is user ter territory, but you know what I, what you can do is that you've got two areas of the field that he's got to be, be be conscious of. You got this out and up that uh, against cover 3 should get a fairly good separation to give an opportunity for a one and one. And you've got this crossing run over the back end side. Now if he plays over the top coverage, you've got the little flat routes that you can check down underneath. So you can go and check it down to the running back, uh, just as a fast little release if you want to, if he's pulling guys up or he's chasing after the one route. And you've also got the crossing route. You can run the stock too if you want to. And uh, just check the, take the high-low off the back end side if you want to. The middle of the field is wide open for an easy completion. So let's go ahead and try that again. So you got the little crossing run on the back inside. I'm getting block shedded again because I've got a bad offensive line going against a very good, stout defensive line. Let's see if we can get it one more time. So we could just go check it down on the running back with a little cross right there and just make them defend that type of stuff. Uh, cover three with the motion play action double post. Once again, we're going to go ahead and show the same setup. We're going to slide protect off to the right because Bosa is going to eat up my tackle. And what's cool about this is I got the little check down that I can go ahead and, and pop my opponent if he does over the top coverage. That defender actually came down and played it perfectly, but let's go ahead and do it again. You know, slide protect off to the right. What's cool about this play, once again, is that deep post is going to get really crazy separation and give an opportunity to go and catch that ball. So nice big shot right there by the CPU. Going to happen when you're playing bad teams. But let's see here, right here, I've got the little crossing route that I can go and check down to, and then it's going to give me another blocker, blocker that I can cross over the back end side. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and make it a more advanced adjustment, you can go ahead and do a whip route on the back end side. And now you've got uh, the crossing route that might actually get a little bit more separation, and you can actually wait for that to develop. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get enough time uh, from this from this. Uh, my offensive line to go ahead and block for me. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this. Let's see, I'm going to block seven. Hopefully we get some separation here. So now you can go and attack that route off the back end side if you like an adjustment. But I like running it as I've been showing you before because I like how, the, how it gets the separation from there, uh, from that particular play. So these are basically the, the, a couple different plays because you see most people play a lot of cover two shells, cover three shells online, where they'll play like a cover four drop. So let's go and jump against cover four drop and show you how this, this scheme can kind of chew up a cover four drop too. So that would probably be the main run I'll use, and a lot of times what's going to happen, people like to spy up their tackle just to take away a running running quarterback, and they just put a bunch of coverage. It's just like the, it's a new uh, new age of fag defense that people run. So let's just go ahead and just uh, run this really quick. And uh, basically what we're going to do is uh, we can go ahead and use the deep curls. Now with deep curls, once again, we're going to run the same, the same type of a setup. And this particular play gets a little bit more locked up uh, with with a drop play. And the reason why is that your read, <clears throat> if we take a look at it, the read is going to be looking at this guy right here. We're going to see what happens with the coverage. So you can see he slides off, and he's going to take away that deep comeback route because he's sliding off. Now I'm going to look high-low. I'm going to look to the low route. This guy comes down. This is going to give me an opportunity to do this because this guy's preoccupied with this route right here. So you can check that down real quick. Uh, it gets like in a short short yardage and distance and pick up a good five yards or so. Uh, but what's going to happen is the defender fall, falls down. You're going to be able to go and get an easy completion because these guys got to play deep deep zone. So you only have really one read that you can go with the cover four. Now um, against uh, the uh, X Y and up, uh, let's just go ahead and run it like I, I like to normally run it. If you get a matching principle, you can you can definitely get uh, yourself uh, a touchdown opportunity with the matching principle with the out and up. But let's just go ahead and show you where you're going to be able to get an opportunity for a big play. 
uh, with with Robert's uh, play right there. So he's gonna have to manually stop that particular play. So come on, Bosa, stop making these do these block shots, man. I'm tired of that. So let's go ahead and do set this back up again. We're gonna block. We're gonna go ahead and shy uh, or shade our coverage or blocking off the right hand side so we can get a double team. And right there, I get another block shutter off the, off the left-hand side. So you're playing against monster teams like this. You know, Obviously, you need to be conscious of uh, that you're not going to get the blocking that you need, uh, uh, like this type of situation. So hopefully, I'm going to get the animation I'm looking for. Come on, guys. Right here, you're going to get this opportunity to go and get this big play right off, off, off the middle. So he's going to have to use that. Um, you can run at stock, which will give you an opportunity for two, uh, two plays underneath. And that might actually help you go ahead and open up this particular that route right there. You can also go ahead and take a shot up top with uh, with uh, Nelson, but you really want to wait for some matching principles on that because what's going to happen is you're going to have two defensive backs who can go and make a play on the ball. So against cover two, you don't want to take that shot play. Or against cover four, you don't want to take that shot play up the side. Now, this motion play action uh, double post is going to be the play that's actually going to give you the biggest opportunity for against cover four. So he runs into cover four. You should have this post route that's going to be wide open for an easy completion right over the middle. So you can see you got that. You got the little wheel routes that you can attack your opponent with. So let's go got to make multiple adjustments to get, make sure we don't get passed up. So the wheel route will be an opportunity for you to check that ball down over the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and take that crossing route on the back end side and actually check that down to, the, to that area too. So this is a this is a, a fairly good formation to run. I would say if you got a guy, a guy that plays a lot of cover three, this is this is really going to torch someone that runs a lot of cover three because they're going to get exposed a lot against cover three. Cover two, um, that curls play will give you some big opportunities. To go and check, basically just beat them up with that. Um, and this play basically will beat pretty much every coverage in the game. Uh, with uh, with that deep post route, and that's going to give you an opportunity to go and check it down. So you can see Bosa coming around the corner and to get rid of the ball a little bit. So this is going to be a scheme you're going to see me playing with. Um, uh, you mix it in with some other plays. Uh, you can come back to this, and it could be a good a good opportunity to go ahead and get some uh, fairly easy yards uh, against it. It's not the best scheme, but it, it, it's a scheme that people are not used to seeing. So you could probably sprinkle it in, and like on first downs or second downs and use it for the rest of your scheme. So once again, guys, from my patrons, thank for your support. I really appreciate it. Until next time.